This is a super highly requested video and I'm making it just for you. If you're somebody that normally watches all of my videos in order, you know that I have been away on vacation in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for the past three weeks. But today, sadly enough, I'm heading home. And you all have asked me to see my reunion with my dogs, Maxie and Pollux. And so I'm gonna film that for you. When I arrive home, it's gonna be about 1 a.m. in the morning because we have a very long travel day ahead of us. But Maxie and Pollux will be there waiting and I'm gonna document our reunion. This is gonna be mayhem. But here, here we go. And for you, this is gonna be a super happy video because you're gonna get to see Maxie and Pollux. Don't get me wrong, I cannot wait to see my boys, but this is such a sad day for me. I hate going home from vacation. I could literally cry, but it is what it is. So I'm up and dressed this morning. It's about nine o'clock. I'm standing on the balcony of the condo that we have rented in Puerto Vallarta, and we're getting ready to check out. We're doing all the, you know, pre-leaving things. I'm showered and dressed and ready. I'm just taking in the sights. I watched my final sunrise this morning. I'm watching all the boats go by and uh, we're getting ready to get picked up by a car service and head to the airport. Cleaning out the fridge. Have a little bit of tequila left and some coffee. And my favorite local beer here. Oh gosh. You didn't get it all drunk, babe. Drank, drunk. Well, this is bottle number two. I know, <laughs> I know. Then I had to get my last smoothie from the rooftop by the pool peanut butter, banana, and chocolate smoothie to go. And it's so sad. We're throwing towels in the floor, sheets, all the things, and suitcases. So we came up to the rooftop pool to sit in the sunshine and just get in the last minutes of paradise before we have to be out of our room and our car comes. So the view up here is so stunning and we're just taking it in as long as we can. Last minute picks, last day in paradise. Mm -hmm. The entire time we've been here, every single day, 21 days, it has been 82 degrees Fahrenheit and pure sunshine. It has been beautiful weather and we've been coming to Puerto Vallarta in the winter about the same time for the past 10 years or so and I can only remember one time it rained one day like a full day of rain and it got a little chilly I had to put on a sweatshirt but otherwise this is what you get in Puerto Vallarta this time of year. It is just so beautiful knowing that I'm going home to winter and cold weather honestly sucks but in Paducah today crazy enough it is 60 degrees so we have a little warm spell at home but believe me winter is not over as soon as we get home it's going to turn cold again and i'm just going to sit home and cry because i want to be right here so adios condo till next year we will miss you adios Adios. Amigos. We'll miss you. Adios, amigos. <laughs> I might chain myself to the couch or something. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. So we're just going to have a little seat right here in the lobby area. It's surrounded by water. I'm getting a little bit of sun and we're just going to wait for our driver. So if you ever come to Puerto Vallarta and you need a car service, use Vallarta Transfers. They have a website you can just go on and book a car from point A to point B. So we always have a car waiting for us at the airport when we arrive. It brings us to our condo and then I do it round trip so it'll pick us back up and take us back to the airport. We've been using them for about 10 years. Super reliable. Always clean. Everything we need. When we arrive, I always book that I want the car to stop at the grocery store. And I'll have a grocery list and the driver will sometimes go in with me if I need help finding things. So Vallarta Transfers is just top notch. Biting them already? I got you on tape. Film.
video, oh. whatever. <laughs> so fun fact about my husband, <laughs> he bites his fingernails, like down to the quick. And when we're on vacation, he doesn't bite his fingernails. I guess it's like a stress thing, would you call it? He freaking bites his fingernails all the time. But on vacation, he doesn't. So we've been here three weeks and he actually has some fingernails. And so he's been showing it to me for the past couple days. And I told him, the minute we get in the car to go to the airport, I'll look over and he'll be biting those off just instantly. We are not even in the car and we're sitting outside waiting on the car and you saw it. He's biting his fingernails. Oh, it's downhill. He said it was a big car. Adios. Right, see you, see you next year. Okay, see you next year. Yeah. Whew, that is a big car for just us. Wowee. Country, the Canada, United States. Right. Yeah, hanging out here. This is a uh, romantic zone. The other side is the old town. Right. Grab that guy out of the car, <laughs> threw him up against a wall, and no, handcuffed him. No questions asked. No questions asked, yeah. <laughs> We were like, whoa! We saw it firsthand. Scary. Yeah. when I get on the sidewalk. So apparently Puerto Vallarta's done renovations to their airport since we were here last year and the food is moved, so we're looking. So we made it through security. Security in Mexico is so much easier than in the United States. Put your stuff in the thing, walk through, you're done. Love it. So now we're gonna grab lunch. Um, they have lots of restaurant options in the Puerto Vallarta airport, which is, you know, fantastic. So we're going to eat and then get on a plane. We're going to land in Dallas about two and a half hours later. We got pizza. And our go-to is Johnny Rockets. We're at the airport. I do not have my wits about me, obviously. But if you watch my live stream where I was doing the walking tour around the romantic zone in Puerto Vallarta and the couple yelled at me from the condo up above, they're here! The lady just came up to me in the bathroom and yelled my name! And so we've been chatting with them. Fantastic people that actually have a condo here and they just go back and forth between the U.S. and PV. So we have some friends in PV! Yay! Andrea. Andrea and Ron. And Ron. Ron. These are the crazies that yelled yes. from the balcony. Woo! Do what? Not a Milky Way. I can do Snickers. Snickers? Snickers or Reese's or something like that. This airport is bazonkers. Bazonkers busy. Bazonkers is not even the right word. <laughs> it's the only thing I can come up with, but it is so stinking crazy busy and Randy needs a water for the plane so and he's gonna get us something chocolate and when I get back home y'all it is back on intermittent fasting counting my carbs I feel horrible my stomach is so full of food and bloated up from the past three weeks so it's I got to get back to eating right but I'm gonna have my Snickers on the plane like one last <laughs> We landed in Dallas. Our flight's been delayed two hours. We have no idea what's going on here, if something's happened to the plane or, or what, but we're just sitting here. So as of right now, we have a three and a half or four hour layover. So we had Chick-fil-A, of course, because you know it's the first thing we saw. We're back in the United States, you gotta have Chick-fil-A. And we're just sitting here, literally on a couch, right here, sitting here, doing a whole bunch of nothing for the next four hours. So it's almost midnight and we just landed in Nashville. 
I'll be the first to admit it. I'm not the best traveler. I'm pretty grumpy on travel days. <laughs> I think mean, you probably agree with me. Good. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. I tried to sleep on the flight. It was dark. It was bumpy. Did you hear the lady beside me with one? Babe. You didn't hear nothing. Okay. No wonder anyway. I had earphones in. Yes, Number you two. did. My ears are so stuffed up. Yeah, she flat out with the big one. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Now we're headed to get our car, and we still have a two hour drive home to Paducah. So it's gonna put us there by the time we get luggage. 2 a.m. y'all, 2 a.m. Can you, can you do it? Yeah, you can. No, I can't, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't drive at night like that. It's up to him. So next stop, Paducah and dogs. I had to put on a long sleeve shirt, winter coat, leggings and tennis shoes because it is so cold. Randy's still sporting the flip flops and shorts. We're pulling in our garage at 1.48 in the morning, and it's time to see the boys. You can hear them. I'm going to try to keep the camera pointed at me because <laughs> this is going to be mayhem. But here, here we go. Gosh, Pollux has got a pile of toys out back. <laughs> oh my goodness, and they're all soaking wet. They're gonna have to stay right there. Come on, bud. Oh me. Hey, me. My favorite part of coming home is seeing these boys. I think Mooey's do a haircut. Goodness gracious me, you're a shaggledy mess, Mooey. Look at him. Shaggledy, shaggledy mess. Oh, Pox, come on. Get up on the bed. Good? Yeah, I had it on all day today. Hey, buddy. Oh, you want to smell the stinky suitcase? You want to smell it? Oh, look at him, Dad. <laughs> oh, we missed you, boys. Well, that's it, y'all. We're home. We're reunited. You saw the boys' reaction. Right, me, 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 me. Everybody is so happy. This is one of my favorite moments when we come home from vacation is seeing my favorite boys, Pollux. See you guys.